Hello everyone, this is Jacob Gilliland from TCO Fly Shop and today we're going to be tying a green blowtorch. Here are the materials that I'm going to be using to tie this fly. For the hook, I'm going to be using a fulling mill jig force, size 16. The bead is a hairline slotted tungsten bead in a 3.3 millimeter silver. The thread is UTC 70 in fluorescent green. The tag is Glowbrite number 12. This is a fluorescent chartreuse. There's going to be two ribbings on this fly. The first ribbing is Micro Flashaboo in Opal Mirage. And the second ribbing is Sculpin Olive Ultrawire UTC. The body is going to be SLF Prism Dubbing in Peacock. And the collar is going to be Fulling Mill CDC in the color Cinnamon. Okay, we're going to start our thread right behind the bead. We're going to cut our tag off here and we're going to wrap towards our bead and let our thread hanging. We're going to take three strands of number 12 glow bright floss and we're going to do one loose wrap of thread so our thread jumps backward and bite down on that glow bite floss and draw back and make tight touching wraps of thread back towards the bend of our hook. We are going to stop just shy of the bend. We're gonna grab our scissors. We're gonna lift up on that floss a little bit and trim the globe right floss to form a short little tag, like so. Now we're gonna take our thread back up to the bead, and now we are ready to tie our ribbing in. We're gonna take a piece of the flashaboo and secure it right behind the bead. Take a couple wraps to lash it down nice and tight. And we are securing the flash on the near side of the hook. And we're gonna take our Sculpin Olive UTC wire and secure it on the far side of the hook. Okay, now we're going to be taking both ribbings and while keeping them on each respective side of the hook, we're going to be taking touching turns of thread back towards the base of our tag. Okay, once we get to the base of our tag, we're gonna let our thread hang. And I will show you the importance of having our ribbings tied in this way here in a second. But before we do that, I'm gonna tie in the body. So to form the body, we're gonna form a really slender dubbing noodle. If you look at a caddis larva, the natural ones, they're very, very slender. Um, you also want to keep in mind that a slender bodied caddis nymph is going to sink a lot quicker than a bulkier caddis. So we're going to form a really, really tight dubbing noodle. And I'm just applying little bits of dubbing at a time. Less is more in this situation. So I'm gonna form about a two inch dubbing noodle. And then we're going to form our body by making touching wraps from the base of our tag all the way up towards the bead. Okay, and if you have any wayward fibers, you can go ahead and trim those. Okay, so the reason why we tied these ribbings in like we did. Um, when we make our first wrap with each rib, we're going to be going underneath the hook shank. And what that does is it provides the material a little bit more protection um, so that if a fish grabs onto the fly, uh, it's less likely for the material to break. So we're gonna wrap our flashaboo, we're gonna counter wrap it, 
to reinforce the dubbing. So we make that first wrap, we're gonna go underneath the hook shank and go one wrap, two wrap, three wrap, four wrap, and open spiral wraps and secure the micro flashaboo with three tight wraps of thread and trim it off. And so with our second rib, we are going to counter wrap the flashaboo. So our first wrap is going to go underneath the hook shank again, um, going the opposite direction that we wrapped the micro flashaboo. And we're going to also going to make four wraps. And we're going to secure that with three tight wraps of thread. And then we can just helicopter the excess free. For the collar of this fly, we're gonna tie in some CDC. We're gonna tie in the tip of this feather using two tight wraps at the stem. And we're gonna fold back the tip of the stem and do two more tight turns. And we're gonna take our scissors, we're gonna trim out the tip out like so. And then we're gonna take some hackle pliers Grab a hold of the end of that CDC feather, pull our feather straight up, and we're gonna sweep these fibers back towards the bend of our hook. And we are going to make a couple of wraps with this feather. And with each wrap we make, we wanna sweep these feathers back so they're going towards the back end of the hook. And once we've made our second wrap, we can go ahead and secure that CDC feather. Two wraps in back, one wrap in front. And we're gonna trim the stem. And we're gonna take our fingers and sweep all of the feathers back. And take several thread wraps to lash everything in place. Now we're gonna add a little bit of super glue to the thread right before we whip finish. This will make the fly a lot more durable. I'll take a couple wraps here. And now we're ready to whip finish. Take a couple turns. See the knot. And cut your tying thread free. Now the final step, we're just going to give it a little bit of a haircut. So we'll just pluck some of these with our fingers. I don't like to cut them because it leaves a little bit of a blunt edge. So by pinching them off, it makes a little bit more of a natural edge. And there is our finished low torch. Very simple, yet very effective. As always, thank you for watching this fly tying tutorial. We'll see you in the next one.